Hi, this is Shadi. So, to continue on what I talked about Ono Shohei a few videos back, it was about the correct posture and the correct attitude and hip defense and someone left a comment asking a very fair question. So, I talked about how he's always upright and that helped him become one of the least defeated judokas. The question says, if leg grabbing was allowed, would judo players still adopt that straight posture? And that is a great and fantastic question because this is also for judo players to consider. You see, we have two types of postures in judo. The first one you see is the upright natural posture. It's called Shizen. Hontai literally translates to the natural posture. And the one on the right, it's a low stance, straight back, not bent over, and it's called a defensive stance or self-defense stance. Now, it might look a bit ridiculous, but you're going to see it uh, later on. So, nothing in judo tells you that in order to defend something, you have to fold uh, onto yourself. There's just so many things that can play against you. The jacket, the grip fighting, uh, someone that's stronger, everything. So I showed this example last time about Maeda, heavier than Ono, goes for a blasting Uchimata. And what Ono does is a hip defense, shoots his hips forward with a little bit of a rotation, just like this very old example of the Kodokan in the 1950s which nullifies a very big throw and of course keep in mind Maeda is much heavier and stronger than Ono so what is a hip defense so hip defense this is Ishii uh, with judo fanatics link will be in the description below so what is it is a hip thrust uh, against whatever uh, is attacking you be it the hand or the legs or the hips so whether it's Haraigoshi, Uchimata, even for uh, backward throws like Osotogari and Ouchigari, pushing the hips and anchoring yourself with a straight back can help you either counter and win or nullify a throw. And that's something even judokas forget most of the time because our natural instinct uh, is to, you know, put our hips back. We it's one of those ways to protect vital organs. I'm pretty sure that's one of the uh, explanations for this. Try to put your hand on your cat's stomach and you'll see the reaction. So, but here we are anchoring ourselves even more and standing more firm and pushing away that attack because when you bend over, especially if they have a superior grip, meaning down your back or back of the collar like you see here, you're in big trouble if you bend over because it's 95% uh, finished. So now let's talk about leg grabs because I'm sure this is the main thing because the biggest one is someone shooting Morote Gari or Sukuinage. So one of the first things you, that you actually need to do, not only push your hips forward, punch with them, but also with double leg, put one leg back because they cannot collect you as easily as when your legs are parallel. Uh, think of the ankle sweeps, the ankle sweep in Jiu Jitsu. One of the defenses that I do personally is put one leg back slightly. It's, it's impossible, almost impossible to be swept when someone holds uh, your ankles and uh, push their hips onto you in order to get you down. If you have one leg back. So, by the way, this technique, Tawara Gaishi, is not just for the double leg, it's for those who like to stall and push on the legs back in the old days, like you see here, you can actually collect the upper body. Adopt that stance that Jigoro Kano showed in the beginning of the video and then launch him backwards. It's a great technique, you can still do it today if someone is still stalling, but it's not just for Morote Gari. So putting one leg back is very crucial and for single leg also, and I'll show you some example later. So this technique with the hip defense is also great for uh, leg grabs because 
judo is not wrestling it's a completely different context now let's take a look at mma here you have a single leg takedown attempt uh, i got this video from youtube it's a compilation so here you, you see the hips are pushing you can definitely tell that he's not uh limp you know torso and hips are clearly pushing and with his hands of course on the head all these uh prevent the takedown so here you see again upright posture pushing and hips pushing and thrusting forward let's take a look at hickson so even when he picks him up back is straight and hips are pushing in order to rotate and get back into a normal uh, position here you see your classical sprawl a sprawl is a hip defense but downwards if you think about it so uh, is the stance the only thing that protects you no it's your hips and it's your posture and it's your composure which they are all a reflection of your attitude again if we go to the streets health defense you're not gonna bend over like a wrestler i understand why wrestlers do it because there's no jacket so getting a grip uh, etc is much harder they're slippery and so one of their best ways to do is to pounce at each other and i understand wrestling is very successful in mma and i do understand why they adopt that stance because of lack of, of grips and no gi and one of the fundamental things about judo is the stance and unbalancing it and uh, maintaining an upright posture and gripping and grip fighting that's why a different stance even with leg grabs you need to stay upright because if you bend over it's to your detriment like you see here because gripping is involved uh, two things will happen with the jacket and someone is bending over either they're gonna be thrown as you see here uh, check out this one or what you're gonna have is a lot of stalling and a lot of false attacks and the game being slowed down and that pushes the IGF to, the IJF to create even more rules so either way it's not good so maintaining an upright posture and penalizing it if it's bad that's the best way to go to preserve all the teachings of judo because now uh, without the leg grabs some of it is being um, forgotten and also you have to think because of the upright posture and what they want there's a lot of emphasis on the gripping and grip fighting and uh, penalizing uh, some types of grips if they last for too long etc and that's all fine if you want to make the uh, game a do or die type of game but things like hip defenses are being forgotten because sometimes when the gripping is more mellow sometimes you let people do express themselves even more and that's my teacher was telling me this by the way last night uh, you're gonna you're gonna see a little more judo you're gonna see more variations of techniques you're gonna see more variations of gripping and one of them you're gonna see is more hip defenses if people understand the dangers of someone going down at them hip defenses will be remembered now they're somewhat forgotten because people are defending themselves a lot with gripping and uh, really dominating grips down the back and being very offensive with the grippings they forget that you can be very powerful with defense uh, which is some type of a passive offense if you think about it so if you have anything to add please let me know down below i hope this answers your question this was Shady. Thank you for listening.